Okay, there was UI changes in 743. I'm just gonna go over some of those UI changes. All right, and so sculpt here. As you can see, it's it's now uh, more of a vertical scroll here, and you can still make your changes. Change the smooth metallic and the intensity and you can still um, change the opacity but it's, it's all designed to be vertical and if you want to add a light add light Just add another light. And I'll change the color in this one. All right. But as you can see, it's, it's vertical, and it's because po poetry orientation was was implemented if I move it this way we still have see some of the icons move to the left and the top row changes and the touchpad is on the side here now if you want to lock rotation you can lock there Therefore, you're not you're not doing anything to the object. Well, that's because that's not. You can you can sculpt on the object without rotating it. And if you need to rotate, just hold the the left touchpad, the left square to move it around. Vertical. I mean, pan in the center, and you can zoom in and out on this far right um, vertical uh, rectangle. And the lights is over on this side. You get a better view of it. And flip it. As you can see, the lights is up here now. And if you want to, I guess. Oh, and the save scene is different too. So let's call this um, demo. You go to open scene you can see all your scenes here and once you you load your scene the sky changes as well so i'm gonna load this here and if you want to merge them you let's move this to the side go to open check merge and then i can merge the demo that I was just working on and you can see the sky change as well but the lights and the object came through and if we go to texture you can the texture have changed as well you can if you want to change the color of a texture of an object you can change it here and the opacity makes the big difference here and if you want to add an image I'll have to lower the opacity the alpha and then just click that there we go You can change the bot map, how much strength you give it, and you can change it if you want. And this reason both of these are selected is why you're seeing them change. So if I just want to change one, then I can just double click and select. 
then I can change it. I want to give this a wood and then turn down the alpha here. After you turn this off, so you can see the changes. There we go. And also um, the gallery has been, I guess, upgraded in a way that you can download the OBJ files that has been shared. So I'm gonna go to the OBJs. And I go to the, the latest one, all right. And I guess I'm just gonna choose with Thor all right so choose Thor download and it's gonna download the actual OBJ file and if you want you can start sculpting that file and there we go we have Thor here but the UV is not set on this so I'll have the UV unwrap so let's let's go with a UV unwrap Now I can color the object. Or if I want to do a stamp, and if I want to make it a little bigger, put on the multiplier, and I can do that. And some objects actually have a color. You, you can, let's, let's go here. Let's go here, go to gallery. with this one this already has uh, no, let's, let's go with a different one here one that I made a while back there we go let's go right here all right so when it downloads the OBJ it's going to download the vertice colors it doesn't download textures only the vertice colors Go to the object mode, get to it, and there we go. And you can start sculpting this and do whatever you like with the objects that you download from the gallery. And you can also upload, like if you, if you have an object that you want to upload, um, first you gotta do a screenshot, publish, type in your info and make sure to include the OBJ file. And if you want to just upload just that one object, do selection only. Or if you uncheck that, then you're gonna upload everything that's on the scene. There is a limit, a 15K limit. So if, if, if you have any vertices above, if everything, all the objects on your scene is more than 15K, then it won't upload. how we found out so I'm gonna go back to this here and you'll see the scene change and it's because I have merge on but if I want to start over take off merge and you can bring this in Also in sculpt mode, the, the, there are changes for the alpha, so it's, it's all vertical now. If you want to add in another object, just add, but it's all vertical now. All right, I think that's about it, about the new features. So now it supports orientation, um, portrait orientation. So you can work in it in portrait view and also landscape view as well. All right, so I'm 